Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. Today we're out in the shop working on the Buick. What we're doing today is installing a ZZP fuel pump rewiring kit. Uh, I'll put a link for it in the description. The reason why you get this is because we're right at the edge of our fuel pump and fuel injectors for the horsepower we're making. So it's just a little cheap, quick fix to keep us from having to buy a new fuel pump and injectors right now. So what this does is a little bit bigger, heavier gauge wire running back to the fuel pump. And it just helps your fuel pump to pump a little bit more. <clears throat> this will keep us from running lean when we're doing some hard pulls because we're right at the edge. And we've also already added their uh, harness for the alternator, which gives us another half a volt or something like that, which also helps a little bit. So these two together should help us not have to buy a pump for a little while. But we might take that all, throw that all out anyway, because we're considering getting retuned and getting a new pump and injectors and switching to ethanol. So I've been doing a repair on my rear strut tower so I have all the carpet and everything out. You wouldn't necessarily need to take it all out, but this is pretty easy the way I have it right here. It's not that hard to, to get that stuff out. So you're gonna pull this cover off, set it aside, and then there's a keeper on the wire here. Mine is already off. So all I have to do is pull that out. This is the connector that you're gonna be sort of replacing. So here is part of your harness here. We're plugging this in from the relay on this side and it snaps in. And then we're gonna just slide it over out of the way a little bit. And we're gonna plug this harness in. like so, and it snaps in. There's a ground wire. You're gonna wanna take your seatbelt nut off and your seatbelt. I already had mine out because of the other work I was doing, so I'm gonna put it down over top of that. That's the ground. And then here is your new wire. This is heavier gauge than the other wire. So we also got quite a length of this blue wire. We're gonna run it along the edge here, over by the edge of the door, all the way up through the firewall. And it's gonna come out. It's gonna come out over at the um, fuse box. I'll show you that. So we're gonna run it through the firewall. It's gonna come out <clears throat> and come up. I'm gonna take this apart in just a minute and I'll show you what we're Gonna do. The spot where we need to hook the wire to is going to be on the back side of the fuse and relay panel here. So you need to take the nut off holding the positive wire on. I've already got that off. Get it out of the way and then you have to pop these four tabs and we're going to pull this apart on the back side. You can pull the cover off and see in here but you can also pull these tabs off and get to the wiring on the back side so that's what we're going to do. Once you get this pulled up out of the way, you'll find a gray wire. The gray wire is the wire going to power up the fuel pump. So we're going to cut it and we're going to splice in our new blue wire, which is a heavier gauge right here. So the gray wire is cut. I'm going to show you where I'm at with the blue wire now. This is the new heavier gauge wire that's supplied in the ZZP kit. What I'm doing is right on the floor up here, there's a wire connector going through and I am just trying to push my wire through with it. Once I get it through the firewall, I'll pull it up and connect it to that gray wire. So I drilled a hole in this boot right over there. Okay, I got it through the boot there. It's going out into the firewall. It was not easy, it was not fun. Still got to feed it up through to the fuse box. 
see if we can see it from the top. So there's the blue wire down there. I don't think my hand can reach down there. I'll give it a try probably. We have to get that somehow up to here. I ran the wire up through. I was able to get a hold of it and pulled it up through and then put it around behind the coolant reservoir and then brought it up through the bottom of the um, up through the bottom of the fuse relay panel. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use the connector and connect it up. Okay, it's connected and heat shrunk in. We're going to go ahead and fit the fuse we're going to go ahead and fit the fuse box back in now and um, get it snapped in. And then we're going to double check and make sure that ZZP was right and we have the right wire. Okay, got that snapped on. Got everything, we got everything buttoned up here. Got the support back on above the battery. Battery all in, fuse panel back in. And the wire, the wire looks pretty good down there. There's nothing it can touch or anything and it's routed pretty good. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. So we're done under the hood. Now all I gotta do is just route it along the door trim all the way back to the back seat and then we will get it hooked up. So that's what we're doing here is I'm just going to move it over here, get it under the trim here. This trim just pops out, so I'm just going to pop it all out and get it under here. I'll show you when I get it all popped out. So we're just going to fit it down here behind the carpet. Put it under this trim panel here and just feed it through all the way. Okay, I got the wire heat shrunk together. So all the wiring is done to the fuel pump. I'm going to go ahead and try starting it up and make sure it's working before we get any further with the interior. Since that was successful, we're going to go ahead and put the back seat in now and the trunk interior.